we're getting ready to go shopping at Costco. Welcome to my channel, Everyday I'm Mothering. Today I'm gonna to be sharing our family's Costco haul. We are a family of five, and if you watch our channel, you know that we are flexitarian, but primarily we try to eat a vegan diet, so plant-based, dairy-free, egg-free. I wanna share some of the things that we were able to find. And we shopped at the Costco in the Nashville area, so of course some of these will vary if they're in your Costco. But we made a lot of great finds today, even though it was a little strange. This was our first time getting out and shopping since Everything has happened. So we were all wearing our mask and it was a little strange actually seeing empty spots in Costco. You usually have to circle around and wait forever for a spot. It actually wasn't crowded at all. So we were in and out pretty quickly. So we did get some of our favorite staples and then a couple new things. We hadn't been since February, so we were out of quite a bit. So this was a pretty large haul for us. The total was around $370, but then we had an executive rebate for $120. So our total cost for this haul was $250. So this was everything that we got today. You can see it was a pretty large trip for us. And so we do try to mostly get plant-based, dairy-free, and egg-free. There are occasionally some things we're gonna get that, you know, have those things in them, and that's okay. We're fine with that. But we found lots of good things. So we always like to get some vegetable broth. And of course, paper towels, since these are still hard to get on any kind of pickup order. And I've never tried the Kirkland's before, so we're gonna try those. They were quite a bit cheaper than the Bounty. And then we got some romaine lettuce for salads. Some good strawberries. Some fresh salsa. And then they had the sprouted firm tofu, and I've never gotten the tofu from Costco before, but I do like the sprouted. I think that it has a better texture and it seems to hold up more when you're trying to use it in like Indian dishes or Mexican bowls. So I'm excited to try this. It was a really good price. It looks like it's got four 18 ounce packs in it. Then we always like to get some grapes. And I wanted to get some blueberries. I really have been wanting to make some lemon blueberry muffins. Then we were out of almond butter, and that's what we always get at Costco is their big thing of almond butter. It's just the best price, and the ingredients are literally just roasted almonds. So I love their almond butter. We do have a peanut allergy, so that's all that we get in the house. And then I always pick up some baby spinach there. We love that, and pasta or smoothies. And then a thing of sun-dried tomatoes. We go through that a lot with our pastas and pizza. And then I wanted to get a orchid. Ours didn't make it from last year. I was hoping it would bloom again, but it didn't. And for $15, I just love it. It's gonna fit in perfect in our living room with that little pop of pink. Then we always get some of their tortilla chips. And then lots of snacks for the girls. We wanted to get some veggie straws. And then I love these veggie crisp. They're made out of rice, peas, and black beans. And they're really tasty. And then the girls love these vegan white cheddar puffs made with chickpeas. And they are really good. I like it better than say like Pirate's Booty or something like that. And of course it's also vegan. And then we love these pea snack crisp. I found these apricots and they have probiotics in them and lots of fiber. So I thought this could be a neat snack to try for the girls as well. And then we needed a lot more applesauce. We use that a lot in baking as subs for dairy and eggs. And then of course, just snacks. And then we needed some more chili powder, which we use a lot for spices, some more garlic powder. And then we do like the frozen beyond burger patties. These are a treat because they're pretty expensive, but Costco has a really good price for them. So we like to pick those up when we're there. And then for Costco, of course, we always get their wine. It is the best price, and I mean, it tastes pretty good. So we get their box of their Cabernet and their Pinot Grigio. We are really fancy and classy with our wine. Got some raisins for the girls' snacks. Then I like to pick up this double pack of Cheerios for a quick breakfast and snack for Emmeline. 
And then I also just like to grab some waffles. They clearly have milk and egg in them, but we like to still have them as a quick breakfast because sometimes I need that. And then we were out of white rice, so we get this huge container. I think it's like $17, but it will last us for months. And we still had brown rice. We were just out of our white rice. And we really like the Killer Dave's bread. And so I like to get the double pack while we're there and I'll freeze that because it does go bad quickly. Even when we do take it out of the freezer, I still like to keep it in the fridge. Then we picked up some sliced almonds. Buying nuts at Costco is the best price and we use tons of nuts for our sauces, especially almonds for our ricotta cheese spread that we do on pizzas. And you can see that in one of my videos as well for that recipe. And then I've never tried Costco's almond milk, but we go through a ton. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it. It's much more cost efficient than what we use now. So hopefully we'll like that. Then we just picked up a pack of peppers, some bananas, and then again with the nuts, we go through a ton of cashews. We make cashew milk for sauce. Like I said, we use it for vegan Parmesan cheese. I use it in a lot of things. And, and cashews are pricey. And then we like this plant-based queso style dip from Good Foods. It is really good when you just need a quick and easy queso that's already put together. And then we picked up some avocados. And then I'm gonna try the berry oat muffins. Now, if you are vegan, I believe these do contain egg, so they won't work for you. But I am trying to get a couple more just fast and easy breakfast options. And so those just go in the freezer and they should work well for us and for Craig to grab. Then we picked up some whole wheat tortillas. And that was our total Costco haul. Again, this is for a family of five and we go every few months to Costco of course it's been longer now because of everything that's been going on we haven't really went out so we really needed this trip that was our family's Costco haul hopefully you find some things you might want to try make sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out my other videos I have a lot of different plant-based recipes and even a video with the kids picking their favorite plant-based recipes so make sure to click that subscribe button and you'll be notified about all of our future videos bye everyone